The research we're carrying out here uh, is designed to um, try and understand how biodiversity is structured in uh, rainforest. Invertebrates are often overlooked um, by people in general because they tend to be quite small, but they are vital to the functioning of ecosystems, breaking down organic matter breaking it down and incorporating the nutrients that are released during that process back into the environment so that things like plants can use them to grow. So we don't know exactly um, which invertebrates are under threat if you were to take cut down uh, rainforest. We just know that lots of them would not be able to survive conversion to plantation. I mean, part of the problem is we don't know how many species we've got at the moment and that's kind of one of the major jobs we have to do by going out and doing surveys and counting and identifying species. We're comparing two primary forest reserves to see whether those reserves have similar species or whether they have species that are unique to one reserve or the other. And this is really important for conservation. It means if uh, one of the reserves was under threat that we know how many species are likely to be lost and we can start to help plan for conservation by understanding how many reserves are necessary to conserve uh, biodiversity as a whole in Saba. The rainforests are very varied and vary a lot over very short distances. So we have to have a lot of samples to understand how varied it is and why it's varying. In each of the reserves that we're working in, we um, choose eight plots. And in each plot, uh, we run out a 100 metre transect. And along that transect, every seven metres, we take um, a litter sample. And then that litter is uh, taken back to camp and we hang it up in winkler bags to extract the invertebrates from the litter. For 50 metres of the transect, we sample dead wood and remove any invertebrates that we find. And then we use different trapping methods. We have pitfall traps, so we run six of those uh, in the middle of our plot. And then we have slam traps, we pull those up into the trees, so they're designed to collect insects that are flying around sort of about six or eight metres up into the canopy. It's important to have such a, a precise scientific approach. It means that by doing our sampling in exactly the same way, we can directly compare with one site to another. So work like this is vital for our understanding of, of the structure of biodiversity and protecting it for the future.